Hello and welcome to another video from Natasha Lee. Today I'm going to be showing you how to produce these absolutely beautiful Starry Night inspired nails with negative space. As always we're going to begin by doing cuticle work and filing our nails. There'll be a video link in the top corner to show you how to do this and then apply base coat. After applying base coat to all 10 nails we're going to apply our first layer of colour to all 10 nails and I'm going to be using Essie's Silver Bullions. And as always, I'll put links to all the products and tools in the description down below. For this look, I'm going to be using Chevron Nail Vinyls. Again, the link to these will be in the description. I'm also going to be using these beautiful silicone tools from Nail Artisan. Peel off one of the chevrons using a pair of tweezers. This is normally easier than trying to do it with just your fingers alone. And with your polish completely dry, apply it to the nail. Do it with the point going upwards towards the tip and leaving a nice little triangle about one third of the way up the nail. Push down the vinyl onto the polish using your silicon tool or something similar. Do to all 10 nails and make sure that it's nice and tucked in down by the side of the nails. Next I'm going in with Barry M Foil Effects in Silver. You can use a similar polish if you don't have this one available. And apply to the nail above where you've applied the vinyl and right up to the tip. Make sure you get in really close down by those sides of the vinyl. Once you've applied to all 10 nails, you're ready to peel off the first vinyls. Do this quite carefully because you don't want to tear the polish you've just painted. And I find it best to pull right up to the tip on one side and then up to the tip on the other. Once the silver is completely dry, go in with another chevron vinyl and this time apply it just in line with where your silver was painted. It can be a little awkward to apply, but once you've got the tip applied, use your silicone tool to make sure you get it in exactly the right place, and again, tuck it in down the sides of those nails. Now it's time to apply your blue. I love the SC Aruba Blue, which I'll be using in just a moment, but I do find with quite a few of the SC polishes that they are quite thin and it requires three, sometimes four coats to get a really opaque coverage. So what I'm doing instead is I'm applying one coat of CND Vine Lux and Seaside Party and then one coat of the SC in Aruba Blue. Once that's dry, we're going to go in with the final layer of SC Silver Bullions to apply a little sparkle to the look. Just do a nice thin coat over the top of the blue on each nail, then allow to dry. Once you've finished applying to all 10 nails, remove your vinyls. Again, I find it best to remove from one side up to the tip and then the other side up to the tip and remove. If you have any ledges in the polish, take your round flat end silicon tool and just lightly pat these down to get a nice smooth finish. If your line isn't crisp, use the flat square ended tool just to slightly push the polish into place and get those nice clean lines. To finish the look we'll be using some Swarovski SS5 crystals in crystal, a crystal katana to help us apply them and some Sedge Feet top coat. Apply your top coat generously to one nail at a time.
You can tidy up any mistakes either using a brush dipped in acetone, your Nails Ink SOS nail pen or your silicone tool. Then using your crystal katana, pick up one of your crystals and apply it carefully to the centre of the point, right in the middle of the silver band. Turn it round using the metal end to push it gently into place so that it gets embedded nicely in the polish. Do this to all 10 nails and allow to dry. Once dry, it's time to moisturise our skin around our nails. I'm using the Nails Ink Vitamin E oil pen and just apply it all the way around the sides of the nail and the cuticle area and then massage in. And here is our final look. Isn't this amazing? And it actually reminds me a little bit of A Starry Night and the Essie Polish Starry Starry Night, which is now discontinued. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.